Hello, Quad Flying Fun here. Um, today, what we're going to do, you can see my JJRC JJ1000 here, and if you noticed, I changed the props on this guy. I uh, took those uh, square-tipped props off that it had on it, and I wanted to try out, these are the Hubson X4 107 props that uh, almost everybody uses if they build quads. They use this style of prop because I started looking at them props and I thought they would, uh, with the tips squared off, would create some drag and extra, um, just extra drag on the motor that's going to use up power and not really do anything for us. So, um, tried these out earlier in the day. I kind of dodged, we've had some iffy weather here this weekend. I got out between a thunderstorm and uh, got a uh, flight in and previously the best time that I've had, even with my 380 milliamp hour battery, is six minutes. Um, actually about a little bit less than six minutes. About five minutes and uh, 50 seconds, I think. Well, lo and behold, put these props on here and uh, jumped up to uh, six minutes, over six minutes, almost seven minutes. So I think my assumption was correct. So what we're going to do, we're going to review um, this guy with these props on it. So we're going to go for a flight here and I'm going to set my watch and uh, we're going to see what kind of flight time we get. So let's get the quad plugged in. Okay, quad is plugged in and set down. Okay, turning on the transmitter, binding the transmitter, going straight to 100% rates. Let's turn the lights off, we don't need them right now. Okay, let's get the watch running. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, start the watch, watch is running, let's fly. I also noticed that it seems to be a heck of a lot faster with these props on it than with the, the uh, props that came on this. So that tells you right there that also it's, uh, these are more efficient, more efficient props. Can you see the speed I'm getting out of it? It wasn't near that quick. It's almost as quick now. I've got a uh, WL Toys V252 and it's it's rivaling it in speed now. Whoa, boy, did you see that gust of wind pick him up? Okay, let's do some manual flips here. And now, whoop, didn't get it. Didn't hit it just right. Let's try that again. Nope, still not there. Okay. I miss them sometimes too. Oh, here's my birds. Here's my birds messing with me. It's funny, I've got barn swallows and uh, martins that nest here in the summertime and boy they just, <laughs> they don't like these little quads. They fly and fight, it's funny. Well, you can really tell the difference here between uh, them props. I'll tell you, this thing is really, it really stepped up the performance on it. There we go. Okay, get away from the tree. <laughs> really want to cut that tree down, but my wife would really be mad at me if I did that. There's one. Man, I love doing them manual flips. That is so much fun. Here it comes right at me. The pitch changed on it too, so I think what these props do, it allows them motors to turn a little higher RPM, which these little, uh, they call them cordless motors. They're not cordless, but uh, they like RPMs. Uh-oh, boy, I'm losing orientation here. I can't tell where I'm at. Can't tell where I'm at. Oh, well, <laughs> that happens to the best of us. You've seen what I did there when I lost orientation. I just cut throttle and let it go in because if you're under power when they hit, you're in trouble. What happened there, I lost my orientation and it turned sideways on me. I couldn't tell where I was going and uh, the wind caught it and took it. Hopefully we didn't sustain any damage there. These little quads are pretty tough, so shouldn't have. Let 
he was moving so fast. See, that's the thing. It made it's made this thing so fast. Now I couldn't see where I was. Here he is. Okay, let's take a look at him. Doesn't look any worse for wear. Nothing broke. No props bent. None shoved into the things. That's the thing about flying over grass. Um, it really helps you. So let's get this guy back in the air. There we go. Nope, didn't hurt him a bit. So I guess that's a testimonial to the uh, JJRC JJ1000, how well they've got it built. Let me leave him up there. Let me get back to my flying spot here and get up on my hill. Yeah, see, it's so fast now. He got away from me there. Got over into the, got over to the side there and caught some wind, and I couldn't tell which way he was orientated. That's one of the reasons I like flying this little guy at night because with the way them LEDs shine, shine through the body, you can tell right where he's at all the time. You never lose orientation. Boy, I sure did there. Sometimes when you do your manual flips, if you hit your uh, your pitch button and you're like you're going in, you're banking, it'll do a it'll kind of stand on one side and and uh, pitch over on one motor. It's hard to get them to do it. I do it by accident. So we'll have to uh, when we do our final. Uh, flight time test here we'll have to uh, subtract just a little bit of time because he was on the ground there for about probably 15 seconds while I walked to get him you you can definitely tell this quad is way faster now than what it was really really picked up its performance and them little Hubson props are cheap you can get them anywhere. They're all over eBay. If you want to wait on them from China, they're even cheaper, but who wants to do that? Oh, look at there. There's my birds back after him. I can compete with them now. The other day I was out here flying. I couldn't hardly get away from them birds. I didn't have enough speed, but she definitely got enough speed now. Oh, there was a good flip. Man, I love flying these little quads. I wish that somebody made one in a 200 or 250 size that flew like these things do. These things are just a blast to fly. Fast as, I mean, you can bring these things out. I've, you can take these things out on a windy day. Let's see, where are we at here? Well, we're at six minutes and 30 seconds. Let's drop this guy down, check the LEDs on him. See if they're flashing yet. Don't seem like it. Seems like she's still got quite a bit of power. Nope, not flashing. Let's go. You can tell when it when it's time to come in because they get your battery sags quite a bit on you. You lose, you go to hit your throttle and it won't climb. You see how it climbs right there. It won't climb like that if your uh, your battery's just sagging. Man, this little guy is fast now. Wow. That's something else you put this thing in 100% rates. Man, it really, really stands on its end. I mean, that quad, look, it's almost 180 degrees. I mean, it's almost straight vertical to the ground if you think about it that way. Put power on, look at that. I mean, it, you have to, I can't hold it. If I'd hold it at full power like that, it would fly it right into the ground, no matter what altitude I was at. Let's bring him back in here. I get a little bit nervous when I, at batteries, like that. Okay, forward pitch, come on. Yeah, she's still wanting to climb. Nope, we're flashing. It just turned on, I've seen it. So let me get it, okay. 
And, oh, look at that. Stop the watch. So let's take off 16 seconds for walking over to get him. That's an eight-minute flight there. So these, these propellers really, really have uh, increased the performance of this quad significantly. So for everybody that's out there, um, I'd highly suggest when you get your, if you're thinking about buying one of these or you get one of these, um, just go ahead and buy four of the uh, Hubson um, X4107L props for it and uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, hope you liked that. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And uh, please subscribe. Until, thanks for watching. Until the next time, see you. Bye.